It's part 16 of our interview series on the Little River Band. And in this one, we talk about how kicking out Roger McLaughlin might have saved his life with Graham Goebel. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. I did a, a Zoom thing with uh, our first uh, bass player, Roger McLaughlin, uh, and who played on It's a Long Way There. And Roger has become a really great friend now, but I, I was the person that was responsible for him, for him uh, leaving Little River Band, and, and, and that's when George McArdle came in. But, but Roger confessed to me that, like he had a, getting a let go from LRB allow the rest of his life just unfolded in a certain way that that he wouldn't want that not to be and he said he had to admit that had he because he was pretty much he was only 21 he was a party boy and he, he liked all that sort of stuff but he, he said that had he come on the american journey with us he said graham he said i probably wouldn't have survived he said i i I, d- I don't think I would have been here if I'd have gone and uh, because he was so into being a rock star and which I never was really but he, he just loved that the whole rock and roll sex drugs and rock and roll I guess you might call it and he said I think I mean it was weird but he, he sort of was saying to me you kicking me out of LRB probably saved my life and and I thought that's fantastic Roger I'm, and, I, and I love him I mean he's such an awesome player one of the I admire him so much and he's just we we, we did a we were going to do a half hour zoom uh, he did it he did just a little zoom thing three hours we talked <laughs> three hours like I love to, hearing that yeah we talked for three hours and when he was in the band we wouldn't have talked for five minutes yeah isn't yeah. that interesting wow isn't that fantastic so so that's what I mean he's got a Allow your life to unfold and then, because you'll look at your life differently when you're 70 than you will when you're 20. Oh. First Under the Wire with Middleman. I, uh, Middleman to me is that song just, I, I remember I just left school. I was 19 and I bought the album and I really liked it. But then Middleman came on and I, that, that song just stopped me. I love that song. Yeah, well, I'm pleased you, you mentioned that. Uh, Beeb started that song. Uh, one of his best, I thought, but our killer harmonies in that. I mean, that was just so enjoyable to sing that song. Uh, and once again, I think the band, to a man, just came up with awesome parts. I think it's a great lyric. Um, Beep started, as I said, and, and then I worked with the lyric, uh, and, and I'm, I can't remember which part I played, but it's a, it's a 50-50 between Beep and I that we wrote. And it's one of my favourite LRB songs um, that is not known by a lot of people. And I'm so pleased you picked that out. It's awesome. And in our Little River Band series with Glenn Shurek, B. Bertels, and Graham Goble, we have a lot of extra material like this. The backdrop is amazing. So everyone's going to love that. Yeah, I know. That's, uh, that wasn't by design, I've got to tell you. When, Why is that? When, uh, no. No, no, no. I was just looking for somewhere to hang them. Because they've been in boxes and in cupboards for years. And then a couple of years back, we uh, had a bit of a renovation in the office here. And I thought, okay, may as well stick it up there. The ego room, whatever. Well, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff around here. George Martin's up on that wall over there. Well, and my Hall of Fame and a few awards are up, up there. So. Oh, wow. You re-recorded the songs? But what was the impetus for you even doing this? Why did you do it? Well, I was surprised when it was uh, suggested to me as well. Why would I? Uh, the songs have done very well for me, and uh, why, why would I mess with them? But the guy I was, uh, who was uh, prodding me, uh, who produced the record, Steve Balby, he's a, a bass player and, a, and a, an artist in his own right and is now producing, and I've been doing a couple of things with him. And he said, uh, you know, those songs could do with a refresh. They're 40 years old now. We can make them sound fresh again and maybe get get uh, re- reclaim your legacy a bit, if you, if you know what I'm saying, you know, that old LRB situation. So, uh, yeah, I said, okay, well, what songs do you want me to do? And he picked out of the obvious ones. Um, and we went into the studio for a couple of days with uh, some people I knew, some people I didn't know. And we just sat around and 
you know, well, let's let's try this and try that and try that, try this. But I was conscious of not getting, you know, I didn't want to do a reggae version of Cool Change or something. I, you know, you stay away from those sort of things. So the songs are basically the same, but my voice is is better now at my age, and uh, uh, I was keen to show that I could still produce that, and also to sort of raise my head over the battlements and say, hey, you know, <laughs> I'm still here. Make sure you comment on our videos, subscribe to our channel, and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Take care of yourself.